Welcome back to Fitz Painting and Repairs Garage. Today's project, continuing on the 59 Cushman. We've got some things we need to get taken care of on this. Um, we've got quite a few things. As you see, we've got the rear piling off, the rear body panel and the rear fender, or rear tire. We're gonna be replacing the tires, but I needed to get in here to adjust and tighten this transmission and to remove the drive belt. And I couldn't get the chain off the sprocket because the bottom pan body paneling sits right here real close to this. So I couldn't get that loose. So I had to remove the body paneling. I had to take the tire off anyways, change it. So <clears throat> we're going to replace this. Um, might add a couple shims to the clutch. So that's where we're at right now. We might go ahead and just add those two shims in while we're in here replace this and then we've got to pull i've got the exhaust pipe off we're going to pull the intake manifold exhaust manifold off replace that gasket and we're going to pull the head off and replace that gasket we got to get the carburetor apart and we're going to clean it and we're going to see if we can install a welsh plug to the bottom of it and we're just going to kind of clean the bike up we're also going to be replacing the front tire as well so that's where we're at that's our little update so give you a little view from this side oh yeah we got to pull this cover off and replace this shroud that goes in here it came loose uh it's like chicken wire that goes on there we're just going to pull that off jb weld it to the back side of that and call it good but we might be pulling this bike apart to do paint work on it eventually so we're just going to go ahead and give it a cleaning as we're going get that transmission cleaned up that's the two-speed transmission setup so i've got to pop this loose I got to get that adjustment loose and this pivots forward on that bolt but this bolt is loose and the whole transmission is moving slightly so we're going to get that tightened up and then we're going to get the arm adjusted like it's supposed to this is your clutch arm control so we need to get that adjusted so that we have 3 8 clearance from the from this uh on the throwout bearing so this here is your clutch arm mechanism inside here so the throwout bearing touches right there. This arm goes over and attaches to that one we just moved. And it sits right here and pushes against the throwout bearing. So as this thing spins, it's disengaged right now, you see? It's totally disengaged. It's not slip, it's not catching. Um, and we're not in gear. Oh, wait a minute. Something's engaging slightly there. All right, we should have complete slippage. So hopefully we're not in gear. I don't think we're in gear. Yeah, see there, the clutch is slipping. Turn like it's supposed to. All right, so what happens is as it spins up, these weights drive in and force the plates together. All right, and then when you step on that, it pushes in here and drives the plates apart just enough. And then you got your spacers here, which keeps your free, free play. So that when you're um, at idle, the, when you're at idle, it has slippage like that, right? What the fuck is that? No. Don't crap that bad. God damn it. I think we got a busted clutch plate. It cracked. Damn it, that sucks. We're gonna pull this clutch apart and replace that. The clutch plate's right, cracked. God damn it. <clears throat> 